Good lad. Mate, hopefully, and he, he talks about that. It's really interesting you hear stuff and, um, you know, obviously he's dealt with some selection issues this year. Other players have come to the fore and all that stuff. But I love the way he said, I know I can do that. Because as players, you talk about mental health and stuff and, you know, you get dropped and, you know, like you said, as a bit of a joke, you played against Glasgow, got man of the match and didn't fucking play again. Well, it's not a joke. Is no, it? that's <laughs> the truth. <laughs> but, that's you know, the, that's the truth. That, that, Mate, that's the bloody truth. <laughs> I know. But then you go, you know, earlier in the season, if you that happens and you don't play, you start to question things as a player, don't you? So, love KV uh, for saying he, he knows he's had that in his locker for, you know, he's always backed himself. Other people perhaps were surprised how well he played, but it's a bit disrespectful to say that because he's right. Four quarterfinals, World Cups. Man, it's you the one who's been horrible to him. No, you you, you labelled him captain of the Shags no, and now he's just stuck. You know, he's the, just the, gone the with binge it. Juice. He's the binge juice. No, but, you know, fingers crossed and they have got an outstanding depth of, of talent there at Ulster now that's coming through and, you know, I know Caves is knocking on a little bit. He's 30, what is he, 31, 32? He's got, playing that well, you know, a lot of clubs should be looking at him as... 100%. London wow. Irish, you know, if Ulster don't... If, if Ulster feel they've got the depth at centre to, you know, and perhaps go with a younger player or whatever, I'm, I'd sign Darren Cave. For, if I was doing the recruitment at Leicester, at Wasps, wherever, you'd have him. Yeah, he's, but he's, surely Ulster are going to be considering now... Like you talk about, that's the biggest game in recent history for them. And I know there's a load of best they played, for and that's the time. best they've played. Oh. Here's a question for you now, Andy Rowe. You ain't going to be able to answer this at all, Goody. You Go might on. be able to, with the help of Tim. Why are Leinster playing all their games in Dublin? So last year, yep, quarterfinal. I get it because they were top seed. They get, they yep. get, they, they, you get a home quarter. Yep, in Dublin against yep. Saracens. Next game, semi final. They're at home in Dublin again, yep. and, and the other semi-finals in a neutral place. Yep. Well, the, the the Aviva Stadium is technically a neutral ground. This is what I'm saying, but it's not. I know. I know. Well, it is and it isn't. It's not their home ground. So as se- the way the seedings work, you get to the, the knockouts, quarter finalists. You get seed one to four get home advantage. Common sense. It's then done on the semi-final draw, but it's still seeded. So you get the home advantage in your country, which is the national so stadium. Sarah, yeah. What, what, what other stadium are they going to play at? Well, this is the thing. This is what I was thinking there about. There has to be over a certain it? amount yeah, of, of uh, the capacity. Be able to host all the broadcasts and stuff like yep. that that goes on. I get I get all that. So you could play at Croke Park. But it's still unfavourable for in terms of... But Saracens, could, so Saracens are moving their game to uh, the, the, the best rugby club ground in England, the Rico Arena. So they could play at the London Stadium. They could play at Twickenham. They could play at Wembley. They could play at any of the football stadiums. But logistically, getting it to work and getting it to work for them in terms of uh, the availability of those stadiums. A pitch they've played on. Yeah. A few, yeah. Um, they've, they've, you know, they've, they've th- with European rugby, they've decided that the Rico is the best stadium for them. So I just think it's unfair that Leinster, everything's in Dublin, everything's at home for them.